They are condemned to be executed, but in prison, these Islamist terrorists show neither fear nor remorse. Cheers from fellow inmates for their visceral messages of hate. Guys, this is horrendous. I've never seen anything like it. They brought hell to the holiday island of Bali in 2002, killing 202 people, including 88 Australians, in a massive truck bomb. Now, six years on, three of them are languishing in this remote island prison. They agreed to talk to CNN from a well-guarded cell on death row. Where does it say in the Quran you have the right to kill innocent people? This man, this prison. You're twisting your religion completely. No, not this thing. Yes, you are. You think that the vast majority of Muslims you, would disagree huh? with what you've done. I better know than you. Huh? I know more, more better than you because I'm Muslim and you kafir. You're a cold-blooded murderer. You're, you're is kafir. What you are. No, nothing. You do not anything. What gives about you the right to take the lives of innocent people? The first, yeah. Blood by blood, soul by soul. Your country, USA, UK, Australian alliance already killing my people. I show another of the bombers, Amrozi, photos of the aftermath of his attack. This is what you have done. What goes through your mind when you look at those pictures? What do I think? Thank God. Do you, do you, not, do you not look at that and, and have any shred of regret at all? No regrets whatsoever. My message for Australians, don't you come to places like that ever again. I am sure that my colleagues will bomb it again. Spike Stewart lost his son Anthony in the blast. He told me how he feels about the terrorists' comments. Angry. Yeah, angry. I mean, these blokes are just complete brain deads. That bearded wonder of theirs, he's a complete brain dead too. I mean, I just can't under the, understand. That's how small their bloody minds are that they do this. They're making fools of all the good Muslims around the world. The Bali bombers seem to be completely without any form of remorse or regret. They seem very upbeat, even though within a couple of months, all three men may be executed. It's not enough to wipe the smiles from their faces, though. They exude a brazen contentment for their act of terror. As they say their final prayers, their lawyers argue they shouldn't face a firing squad because it's inhumane. Yet there seems little humanity in what these men have done and little remorse as they face the God in whose name they've killed. Dam Rivers, CNN, Nusa Kambangan, Indonesia.